dear students, I am Sandan, working as a physics faculty in Target English Medium School. Today, in this part of video, I would like to explain is really sound needs a medium is nothing but does sound needs a medium or not and after that we discussed about what are the important terms related to the sound topic that is mostly we discussed in the chapter of sound in this video so in our previous video in the same chapter we clearly discussing about how does sound travel through the air and the second one is does sound has energy or not the two topics we clearly discussing in our okay previous video and also one more thing is also what is the means? what are the types of musical instruments and what is the larynx about that one also we clearly discussing in our previous videos in the chapter of sound so let me come to our topic directly in this time so our topic name is so first we discuss that what is the sound next how the sound is propagated that is also we discussing that and now we discussing that if the sound is travel from one place to another place or for its propagation medium is necessary or not or it needs a medium or not so our topic is sound needs a medium this is the name of our topic so for this one first of all we discussed two or three examples we know that generally the matter is existed three forms in the nature solids liquids and the gases solids liquids gases they are also called as a medium solids liquids and gases so for example you we are discussing one daily life example about the solids sometimes we are here the train a train is arrival to the station but it is not appear to our eye it is such a long distance is there from the okay, station it is nothing but 3 or 4 kilometers away from the station at that time the sound is we can arrive to the station or not we can find by the one that is there that is you know everything our ear will be keep on to the okay rail track so we are hear the sound clearly when the train is near to the station if the train is far from the station so we are not able to hear the any sound if the okay pro, uh, the loudness of the sound is increases gradually when keep our ear on to the railway track at that time the train will be okay it comes close to the Uchiman station that is you know the very clear means in this one the train will be at 3 or 4 km far from the station but uh, okay, you can hear the sound or not in this one how the sound is traveling the motion of the wheel of the train on the rail track that sound will be produced during that one the producing of sound will be passing through the solids of the railway track because of rail tracks are made up of the iron or steel that's why the sound is prop passing through that one and reaches to your ear and one more thing is also we discussing that so just we are observing that we can keep our okay here on the one end one corner of the table the table is made up of the iron mostly and another side okay any one of your friend will be slightly tapped with the help of the finger 
so you are clearly hear that sound with a loud voice so means in this one actually your friend will be talk way at the another corner but you are your ear is on the another side but when he taps slightly also the sound is fastly passing through that okay solid of the disc and reaches to your ear so the number of examples are there so that's why the sound can be travel through the solids that is clear we are discussing that next one is the liquids so first of all we can take a bucket of water and now we can and also we can take the two stones initially the two stones will be keep inside the bucket of the water and without cap just keep okay normally at that time you are not able to listen any sound now inside the water the two stones are strike against with each other like this one the two stones are strike against with each other okay so the okay you are hear the sound okay you are hear the striking sound coming from the which one after but here where the stones are there inside the water it is not in the air inside the water that's why inside the water also when you can strike it with each other that sound is reaches to you means here the okay the stones are producing the sound during the striking the producing sound will be passing through the water and enter into the air and finally reaches to our ear and next one gases gases means so in a classroom the discussion between the teacher and the student so if you can speak or if you have converse anything with the other persons we know that between you and that person what is there air is there that's why sound needs a medium is nothing but that's let me discuss that sound is travel through the solids liquids and gases also if medium is not there or in the absence of medium Really, does sound is a travel or not? So, what we say is that if the in solids, liquids, and the gases, sound is a travel from one place to another place. Okay, but if the any medium is not exist or any medium is not present or simply in the absence of medium, sound is propagate or move from one place to another place. For that one, we discussed one experiment that is electric bell jar experiments. So that's why our topic name is okay. Our main topic name is sound needs a medium. Ah, one more thing is also sound cannot travel through the vacuum. Explain with help of one experiment. So here they are asking the different types of questions based on this one. Does sound needs a medium? Explain with help of one experiment. Explain sound cannot travel through the vacuum. Any the making of the question is different yet, or asking of the question is different yet, but the answer is the same. So now for this one, we discuss one experiment. That experiment name is electric bell jar experiment.
it is a rough diagram of electric belt so let's have a look carefully with the help of the electric belt jar experiment we clearly prove that sound needs a medium and also sound cannot travel through the vacuum vacuum is nothing but no means absence of medium or no medium is present so this is a simple circuit of which one electric bell jar here battery dc or ac it is the plug of it it is a two hole rubber cork it is an empty glass transparent glass jar it is a electrical bell it is a, so this is connected to the vacuum pump so first of all here inside what is present initially we know that a is present what is there here inside a is present so we already we clearly discussing that the sound is travel through the solids liquids and gases also a is also one of the gas are not that's why initially first of all okay after arranging this type of thing so inside the transparent jar what is present a is present when the key is okay closed is nothing but switch is on then what will be happen the electrical current will be supplied to the okay the this one so then what will be happen when the current is supplied here create the okay magnetic force that's why it is generally made up of the iron the iron is attracted by the magnetic force and it will be got touch with that one continuously that's why what will be happen here so immediately when the switch is closed the current is supplied to the bell then automatically it will be start the ringing that is ringing sound you are observed and keep in your mind that is the first condition next second case so the lower end is already connected to the vacuum pump what is the use of the vacuum pump with help of the vacuum pump we can suck or we can remove the air from that particular place that's why so slightly okay initially here so a full of air is there now we can remove 50% of air from the glass jar how much air is there okay initially how much air is present 100% of air is present second time 50% of air is present okay so with help of the vacuum pump we remove the 50% of air from the glass jar and again we repeat the same experiment in the second time you are observing okay lesser sound than the initial one is nothing but when so no air is removed or when 100% of air is present inside the jar at that time you are hear a loud sound when the switch is on or key is closed but after removing 50% of air from the glass jar at that time so we are same circuit is not changes same current is applied same volt means same voltage is applied but in the second time you are hear the not high much of the loud sound you are hear the lesser means okay moderate sound you are hear the sound but the sound is lesser than which one initial one first one next third condition we can remove the total air from the glass jar means 0% of air air is 0% at that time again repeat the same experiment so we cannot able to hear the any sound even the bell is continuously ringing ringing inside you are observing it is which type of jar transparent glass jar when you can see inside the jar the bell is continuously ringing by touching to this one but what will be happen means it is continuously touch to this one but you are not able to listen even small part of the sound also so means here what you are understanding in this one when the 100% of a is there we are hear the loud sound when the 50% of a is there we hear the moderate sound means less intensity of sound here high intensity of sound here lesser intensity of sound when 0% of a means no a is present inside you are not hear that any sound that's why what you are understanding from this one means from the first and second thing okay in case of 100 and in case of 50% first the primary idea observation is sound will be needs a medium that is one in the third one what you understanding that 
without the medium its sound cannot be propagated because of air is acts as a medium if the absence of the air you are not hear the any sound is nothing but okay so sound cannot be travel through the vacuum and one more thing is also i observed that okay so if the based on the medium of the present so the loudness will be produced so in if the 100% of air is there in the bell jar so high intensity of sound is we are here in the 50% of air we hear the lesser intensity of sound and in the zero we are not hear the any sound also so one second listen very carefully so with help of the electric bell jar experiment we clearly understand sound needs a medium and also in the absence of sound in the sorry in the absence of medium sound cannot be propagated and is nothing but sound cannot be travel through the vacuum first of all this is an a okay, brief structure of the electric bell jar we are connected to that one so first of all we can take an empty glass, transparent glass jar it is already contain the water now in this glass jar we can keep the an elect electrical bell as shown in the figure through the two hold rubber cards these are the wires okay when two hold means through one hole one wire another hole another neck it is a positive way it is the negative way like that one finally so one wire is connected to the sorry here changes plus one wire is connected to the positive terminal of a battery another wire connected to the negative terminal of a battery through the plug key so initially key is in open that's why no current is reaches to the bell then it is not ringing but when the switch is closed or key is closed the current is allowed into the circuit then the bell is start the ringing and we get the okay high intensity of sound that is the first one next so the lower part of the bell jar is connected to a vacuum pump and remove 50% of air present in the glass jar after that again repeat the same thing so in the second time we hear the lesser intensity of sound than the previous one or first one and finally we can remove the total air from the glass jar and again we can repeat the same experiment in the third time we are not hear the any part of sound even though inside the jar the bell is continuously okay ringing means continuously vibrated so that's why from this experiment you are clearly understand that or we conclude that sound will be travel or sound needs a medium it is nothing but if the sound is travel from one place to another place must and should what is required medium is necessary if the absence of the sound sound cannot be travel and here one more question is also asking during okay what is that one means we know that sun is the source of the light to the every planet in our solar system he gives nearly so 90% of the 98% of the energy or 90% whatever it is but here we are observing that how the okay light is light is coming from the sun means so inside the sun nuclear reactions will be occurs okay during the nuclear reactions what will be happen means explosions will be also means during the nuclear reactions explosions will be happen by the hydrogen atoms during the collision so at that time so generally we know that when the two bodies are collide or if you can take the two stones the two stones are strike against each other three energies are released mainly so light energy heat energy and sound energy you are observing that during the sparking of okay light when the two stones are strike you know that so small spark will become that is the light energy and also after striking a striking part is and touch the tip of your finger it will be hot that's why heat energy and also it produce the sound so inside the sun nuclear reactions will be occurs that's why so many explosions will be happen in the hydrogen inside the sun but during the explosion what will be happen three energies are released light energy heat energy and the sound energy but okay light and heat these two energies are reaches to the surface of the earth from the sun but not the sound energy what is the reason around the sun there is no atmosphere and also we know that above the surface of the earth up to 100 km only what is present atmosphere is present is nothing but air is present after the 100 km there is no air is nothing but only
only the vacuum, only the empty space, about 100 kilometers to up to the sun. That's why simply, so around the sun there is no atmosphere. That's why sound energy is not reaches to the surface of the earth because of this mechanical wave. But the light and the heat, these two energies are okay, electromagnetic waves. I said very clearly. <coughs> A wave which requires a medium, that wave is called mechanical wave. A wave which, okay, without any medium also, it will be propagated from one place to another place. That is called electromagnetic wave. Light and heat, these two are the electromagnetic wave in the nature, and the sound is a okay, mechanical wave in the nature. That's why during the explosives, sound, heat, light, and things are released inside the sun. But light and heat is reaches to the surface of the earth because of they does not require any medium also. But the sound is require a medium. That's why so around the sun there is no atmosphere. Due to that one, the explosives happening inside the sun were not able to hear from the surface of the earth. 